let's say, for example, that uh, a being a being is here, standing here, and that being is a god. Okay, now we're talking a god that you know it could have a singular point of here I am. This god, okay, you're giving all your power away to this god, right? And he's what is he doing with that power? What is he doing with everything? Oh. Yes, worship me. I need that. I'm so ridiculously insecure that I need you to get down on your knees and worship me. I'm like, what? Okay, even if that's the case, that you're into, like, the whole submissive thing and, like, oh, yeah, take my power. I'm nothing without you. You're great. Like, I don't know what type of father wants to hear that from his kids. Oh, Dad, whatever you say, just don't hurt me. Please don't spank me. Oh, you love me? You love me? You love me, but I'm afraid of you, but you love me? Weird psychopathic things that go on between religions and the people that follow them. I'm not trying to knock people in religions because I've been there. I'm just saying that whoever this being is, hey, hey, he's not you. This being is not you. You're not that being. So hey, what does that mean? <laughs> you are unique and sovereign unto yourself. If you have solely given your power away, if you have solely given your entire identity away t to a god, Oh, my life is just supposed to be one big pointing sign to baby Jesus. Hey, guess what? Good for baby Jesus. But what about you? If you lose all your identity, you don't exist. If, if some, somewhere along the line, everything is God. Everything's God, man. Everything's God. Where are you? Where are you in that? Are you God? Are you saying, oh, I'm God then? No. You're unique unto yourself. And if you do not have your individual sovereign identity, you do not exist.